Yeah, I'd like to uh, call the meeting of the County Board of Selectmen uh, together for our meeting on Monday, July 25th at 7 p.m. 2016. Uh, i make a motion on the minutes. Uh, we will have to pass over it tonight due to the fact that uh, lack of quorum. But there's one comment about it we need to have changed is on the uh, attendance of the select board members at the meeting on the Rose property, Janet Shays was not there. Right, John? And other than that, uh, we'll pass over that to the next meeting. Next, next, next uh, article is uh, the approval for the warrants. I uh, make a motion we approve warrants. Uh, the vendor warrant for $252,374.43. The payroll warrant for $80,770.44. And the payroll deduction warrant for $20,593.34. Do I have a second? A second. Any discussion? Numbers look right. Make a motion for approval. Aye. Aye. All approved. That passes. Meetings attended by the select board members. Me, no. I didn't have any either. So. Let me pass over that. Any citizen concerns? No. I do have one, but I'm glad we're on here. We can discuss it with him after. So let me get into his uh, line of business here. All business. Letter of support from Town of Ashfield for the grant uh, proposal for the improvements associated with the Ashfield Lake Dam and Spillway. Uh, make a motion to discuss it. Second it. Sure. Second. Okay, any discussion about this at all? No change to so review? There's no money involved. It's no just, money involved. Just supporting just them. Okay, I'd like to make a recommendation that we approve the uh, the uh, letters written. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Do we have to sign this time? Or just, uh, you know, okay, we're all back. Yeah. Okay, on the new business, uh, permission for Open Space Committee consultants to use herbicides on town property to control evasive plants. Uh, a second on this? Discussion? Second, yeah. Any discussion about this? Uh, this no? has to do with the Rose property uh, in conjunction with the work that's going to be done there with the floodplain lowering. The Open Space Committee is doing some invasive control along the bank. This is only on that property? Yes. Because it kind of says on town property, right? Yeah. Well, that's it. It is. This is specifically Strictly for that, for that one location. Okay. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's passed unanimously. Okay. Signed Chapter 90 reimbursement papers. Ron, why don't you find up? Here you go. Well, we finished two projects. Yeah. Got approved last fall. Mm -hmm. We're just looking for signatures so we can submit for reimbursement. Okay. The first one was Main Poland Road. Uh, it was 139,942,37. It ended up being 123,220,06. That's the Beautiful. top one's a reimbursement form, mm -hmm. and the second one's for the final notice on Chapter 90 of that project. That looks really good now. The project came out really nice. What's that? The project came out really nice. Yeah, I'm very pleased with the way it came out. And the second one is for North Poland Road. That one was $80,267.79. And we're asking them to be reimbursed for $72,141.91 on that one. Look at project all done too, huh? You have other projects you're working on now, right? Or? We're just doing general maintenance mm -hmm. right now, but um, mm -hmm. hopefully one of the things we're going to do shortly is get over and wait the road and finish that project. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's not a lot to do there. Is it just a few catch basin? Yeah, a few mm -hmm. um, head walls for the mm -hmm. culvert. It's, it's just it's not a lot there. But. You have your, uh, it's just a concern of mine because I live on the street. I know it's not on town property, but state property. Could you get your guy, your gentleman that does the trimming there, young man that does the trimming, just to trim that embankment a little bit going up town hill, right? Just make the turn. Because when they pull out in front of the library steps, oh, you go up the hill, the you can't see it. You've got to get out in the road before you can see it go up the hill. Somebody's going to get the no mm -hmm. trying clipped out of it. I'm surprised the state didn't do it because they mowed the road sign down and never touched that. Mm -hmm. They went right by it. Usually they, they mow that section, but for some reason they avoided it this year. Mm -hmm. But if you could just get them just to you know, knock some off, it gets a little bit of visibility. I suppose. Yeah. Um, you got any other discussion, Russia? Nope. Okay, the only other thing uh, we were talking about citizen concerns. I've had three or four, possibly four, not three, uh, four, I mean, citizen concerns that we're wondering why the pieces of equipment that you purchased, the uh, town trucks, the pickups and stuff like that, haven't got any town names on them. Being worked on. Okay, very good. We're going to look at some of the As a session tonight, I saw our two trucks down there, or the, 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 the old fire truck yeah. and then the one the motor's going to come out of. Yeah, it's been it taken out like of the other one and it's in the process of being put back in the town owned vehicle. Yeah. Great. So that's under, that should be finished probably by the end of the month. Great donation. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Other than that, Ron, thanks. Good work. Okay, yeah. Do you want an electronic copy of this? Okay, we need to make some recommendations for appointment for the Parks and Rec and Trails Committee for term ending 6 30 19. Uh, we have Julie Petty, we have John Heffernan, we have Jason Hunter, we have Paul Charest, and Harry Bobrio. Uh, you want to second that, please? Second, yeah. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Uh, any of them? It's great to fill the committees. Okay, it is very nice to fill the committees. Uh, okay, I make a recommendation. We approve them. Uh, aye. 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 Good. All approved. Do we need to sign these, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you want to just have John sign it? Because it says chairman, so. Uh, you're the one who's here. We can get him out sooner. Okay. Um, you're chair pro tem. You can say uh, clerk if you want. You can cross it out and say clerk. Okay. Oh, it has his name on it? No. No, no. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we're... I just have that committee filled up again. Because mm. they all do good work. I'm sure the rest of the three on the committee will be more than happy to have a full slate. Agenda is appoint Melissa Patterson to the Open Space Committee, effective till June uh, June 30th of 2017, and to reappoint Don Drollman to 6:30:17. You second that motion? In second. Discussions about it? Okay, we can't. Uh, I asked Tom to ask Melissa to come in. I, I most of us don't know who Melissa is. Yeah. It'd be nice to us to meet her and have a face. Uh, face to face meeting or just so we know who she is. And she said she can come in next time. Okay, okay. so what, what I recommend, recommend that we approve uh, Don Drollman tonight. Okay, and hold off on uh, Melissa? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Okay, approve Don Drollman. And we'll hold off on Melissa until next week if she comes in. Very good. Okay. I, next item. The item is not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Nothing from here. Nothing, Tom? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, town administrator update. Uh, 
really pretty brief. Okay. Um, we've made a reservation on the town calendar uh, for the all committee meeting for Monday, October 24th um, from uh, 6 to 10. It's uh, 6 will in probably include a setup. I think we'll probably start the meeting at 7. With any luck, it will be over by 9, but we, we reserve it for that time period. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not a select board, a regular select board meeting night so far. Okay. It's not a holiday. Um, so I'll be sending out a save the date. Uh, if that's okay with you mm -hmm. um, for that date. Uh, in other committee news, the Parks, Rec, and Trails Committee will be posting Please Pick Up After Your Dogs signs in the town field. Apparently, not everyone has been picking up equally good. observed. That's, that's good. I heard other people complain about that. So that's good. Thank you. Uh, in for departmental news and information technology, we have switched over all town computers except the assessors at this point to Windows 10, so they should all be running the same versions of programs. Uh, we're waiting for state approval of some of the assessor programs to be sure they'll work with Windows 10. Um, also, uh, our assessor would like to have free cash certified and a tax rate set in the next few weeks. The earliest we will have done that. Uh, we need part of that work done for our abbreviated audit uh, that we have for school system purposes, uh, especially the, the free cash. So we're going to make that. We will. Uh, we'll be working on getting all that. How does that all that done? How does this uh, report uh, affect the, the people that are putting for uh, carryover? Carry over uh, recovered monies. Uh, we should know in in a few weeks, uh, unless, I mean, any bills should be in and, and paid by then. Um. So. Okay. That we should be ready. Mm -hmm. Um. For the community compact, uh, I've asked. Uh, various town finance officials and uh, including the whole select board and finance committee uh, to hold the dates of Wednesday, September 7th and Thursday, September 15th open for meetings with Joe Markarian on long range financial planning, including capital planning. Uh, I've given you most of this background before. Uh, we will be educating ourselves on the components of long term financial planning and then over time adopting policies for long-term financial planning. We have all of the, the sort of micro policies in finance mm -hmm. set now, and we need some consideration, some more budgetary and long-term year-to-year considerations. And uh, this will be especially useful for that. It should provide stability, uh, guidance and stability for the town in making future decisions. Uh, for regional news, the FERCOG is working with other regional planning agencies in Massachusetts and New Hampshire to prepare a letter to our federal legislators regarding the FERC process. The key recommendations uh, are based on their discussions with the Regional Pipeline Advisory Committee and the RPA, that's Regional Planning Agency Working Groups. I have those um, in a handout. So if you want to take a look at these, um, we could always send something similar ourselves if uh, people were interested. Do you know if this got sent out to MCAP at all? You know, they're, they, they I, have representatives of probably all of these towns. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're, that is not one of the groups that the COG said that they yeah. were working with on these, on these particular recommendations. Um, Lastly, the proclamation for Helen Reed is at the Greenfield Gallery for a framing and should be ready within three weeks. So, and it, it's going to look really nice. Yes, John and I were, were at that. Yeah. Sure, there's a proclamation, and I read, John read it, and we talked to the crowd, and we had a really, really nice party for the lady. Celebrating her 100th birthday. Mm. That's great to hear. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I was really, very, very hot day. There's hundreds of people there. Yeah. Which is nice. 
Okay. So that's it. That's it, Tom? Yeah. Okay. Um, any concerns with the select board? No. Okay, here no concerns with the select board. We, my piece of mail we got, I've got to fill out because it's from the, uh, from the uh, Regional Transit Authority asking who was it, who the select board approved for the committee member, which is me. Chuck, so they'll just send that paperwork back oh. in. That's the only piece of mail we have. Any other announcements anybody got? Okay. No. Okay, the next select board meeting is going to be held on Monday, August 8th, 2016 at 7 p.m. in the town office. If we hear no other further uh, announcements, I make a recommendation that we close the meeting. I'd second it. Um, All in favor? Yeah, well, uh, we would actually be, yeah, moving into an executive session yeah, yeah. to adjourn afterwards. Okay, okay. For uh, okay. reason number okay. two. All right, reason number two. We gotta go to executive session after. Okay, no so, problem. And that's a roll call vote. Then that's to conduct negotiating sessions with non-union personnel. Yeah. Okay. You have to say that, and then a roll call vote okay. to go into that. Okay. Then we'll after we close this meeting, we'll go into executive session for a roll call vote for negotiations or non-union employees. So do we need a roll call vote to go into executive yes. session? Yeah. Yeah. So. 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 Would you like to make a motion? To go into executive session. I would. Right. Now second that. Okay. All in favor? And then. So that's Bob, it. Bob says yes. Yes. Okay. This is the roll call vote. Right. We yeah. do a roll call vote. Yeah. Yes. And Robert favor. says yes. Yeah. I say yes. So. Hey. Right. Good evening.